In this video, you will learn everything about the meaning of the planet Jupiter in Kabbalistic astrology. We will introduce you to the spiritual principle on the Tree of Life, which is the basis for a deeper understanding of Jupiter. Additionally, you will gain insights into the mythological background. At the end of this video, we will give you a short and clear summary of the key facts you will need to know for an astrological interpretation. Brotherhood of the Eternal Light Teaching the Western Mysteries This video is part of our series about the horoscope. Meaning of the Planets Jupiter Jupiter on Mount Olympus passes benevolent laws for us so that we can safely thrive. In his generous ways we trust. Basic Meaning The symbol which represents Jupiter in astrology is also the alchemical symbol for tin. It unites the cross with the crescent. In our horoscopes, and in this video, it is also depicted in this way. Tin is one of the metals that have been used since antiquity. In Hebrew, Jupiter is called Tzedek, which means righteousness. The Sephirah on the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, which underlies the meaning of Jupiter, is Chesed, which means mercy or benevolence. The Sephirah Chesed corresponds to the form aspect of the higher mental plane on the macrocosmic Tree of Life. Furthermore, the Sephirah Chesed is part of the pathway of the Hebrew letter Mem on the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. This pathway includes the Sephirot Bina. Chesed, and Hod. Mem, amongst other things, symbolizes the water element, and through this the form-giving aspect. The Pillar of Mercy is also named after Chesed. The function of the Pillar of Mercy is of a creative nature. The basic meaning of Chesed is therefore form-giving and creative. Chesed is the benevolent principle which enables a righteous order. The Sephirah Chesed corresponds to the principle of positive ethics. Thou shalt. Chesed is the principle of benevolent order which enables growth. Jupiter therefore symbolizes our worldview, our moral standards derived therefrom, and our rules of conduct, as well as generosity. Jupiter in Mythology The correspondence of Jupiter in the mythology of Mesopotamia is the god Marduk. Marduk was the highest god. Before he created humankind, he created and organized the world, for example, by naming the months. In Egypt, Amun is the god who corresponds to Jupiter. He is believed to be the creator and king of the gods. He created the first couple among them. Legend has it that Amun is able to assume every shape and that all the other gods are only manifestations of himself. Later in history, he became Amun-Ra by being associated with Ra, the sun. In Greek mythology, the correspondence to Jupiter is Zeus. He is the god of air and weather. As the mightiest of all gods, he reigns over them and also over humankind. Zeus was also known as the patron god of royal families and later of governments. Finally, in ancient Rome, we are introduced to the god's current common name, Jupiter. It is said that in the olden days he was called Optimus Maximus, which literally means the best and the greatest. Astrological Significance Jupiter's position in the horoscope reveals how and in which area of life we show generosity and how we express our ideals and values. The virtues of Jupiter are sense of duty, obedience when adequate, responsibility, ethics, and benevolence. The vices of Jupiter are opportunism, narrow-mindedness, blind confidence, blind obedience, hypocrisy, and tyranny. Movement and Speed Jupiter needs almost 12 years for its apparent orbit through the zodiac, and therefore almost one year for its passage through one of the zodiacal signs. Jupiter is retrograde for three or four months each year. Domicile and Exile 
Jupiter rules in the sign of Sagittarius and is in exile in the sign of Gemini. Jupiter's effect or influence corresponds well to the nature of the sign of Sagittarius. In Sagittarius, which stands for holistic intellectual striving, Jupiter's prudence and foresight can fully unfold. In the sign of versatile Gemini, which is all about diversity and differences, and not about the big picture or unity, the principles of a higher worldview and universal moral standards cannot express themselves adequately. Because where everything is about diversity and flexibility, the multiple details are more important than a general principle. Jupiter also rules in Pisces and is in exile in Virgo. Jupiter's effect or influence also corresponds well to the nature of the sign Pisces. Jupiter is the old ruler of Pisces, since Neptune is nowadays also assigned to Pisces. Jupiter's benevolence can unfold entirely in the sign of the devoted and profound Pisces, whereas in the sign of Virgo, which is all about precision and details and also, sometimes, pettiness, generosity and a sense of big picture usually do not find appropriate acknowledgement. Exaltation and Fall In the sign of Cancer, Jupiter is exalted, and in Capricorn, it is in its fall. Jupiter's effect or influence is in harmony with the nature of the sign of Cancer, because the receiving nature of Cancer is also open to the bigger picture and has a sense of the higher. In Capricorn, however, Jupiter's nature cannot express itself so easily, for where everything is about ambition and aspiration, generosity and kindness are seen to be irrelevant. Let us now sum up the meanings of Jupiter. The Symbol the spiritual principle behind Jupiter is Chesed, which stands for benevolence and order. Influence Jupiter's position shows the worldview and the moral standards and rules of conduct derived therefrom. Jupiter also shows us how and in which area of life generosity and values are expressed. The virtues of Jupiter are sense of duty, obedience when adequate, responsibility, ethics, and benevolence. Jupiter's vices are opportunism, narrow-mindedness, blind confidence, blind obedience, hypocrisy, and tyranny. Jupiter is in its domicile in Pisces and Sagittarius. Jupiter's exaltation is in Cancer. Jupiter is in exile in Virgo and Gemini, and in its fall in Capricorn. Jupiter's orbital period is about 12 years. We have come to the end of our video about the planet Jupiter in Kabbalistic astrology. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by giving us a like. Also, Feel free to tell us in the comments about where Jupiter's virtues show themselves particularly well in your life. Join us in our exciting interactive and free online course. See the link in the description. Subscribe to our channel if you do not want to miss any of our videos. See you soon in our next video.